Hey there everyone, it is Anthony back with another video here on Single and Placing. Hi, hello. Um, I just got a package in the mail, so this was a super impromptu, I guess a little bit of an unboxing, I kind of gave you a little sneak peek there, um, but I guess kind of uh, uh, impromptu in the sense that um, I didn't, I wasn't planning on doing any unboxings or anything, and I actually forgot I had ordered these, so um, I'm super happy that you're here, but this package is from uh, Ruby Q or Nomadi or Nomadi Q Clay. Um, it is Ruby Q on um, YouTube. Um, she does a lot of diamond painting and, and uh, clay craft work and stuff like that. And so she's got an Etsy shop, which I will list down below. This is going to be a very quick unboxing, just a couple of minutes. So I'm not sure if this will be its own video or if I'm just going to tag this on to the end of another video and just give a little stay tuned. Um, as you can see, I didn't even clear the deck, so to speak, to do this unboxing. I just uh, set this up right on top of my current whip that I'm working on. But um, yeah, so you've got a Fragile with Care a little sticker there. And on the back you have, hello, is it me you're waiting for? I love that. That's so freaking cute. And even this butterfly um, tape is really cute. So we're going to go ahead and crack this open. Okay, awesome. So in here we have a um, little package. We've got my packing slip. Um, essentially this is three cover minders that I ordered from Ruby on her live. Was that last week or the week before? Um, I think it was last Saturday. So this got here really quickly, six days to ship. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and flip it over, but I don't wanna reveal what they are just yet. So I'm gonna open this off camera. Oh, this is such a cute little package. I love the reflective um, packaging. Okay, so it looks like we've got some nifty gifties in here. Let's see what we have. Oh my gosh, there's so much stuff in here. Um, but yeah, I was just on Ruby's live and um, she was mentioning that she had some cover minders up and I hopped on there and went to town. I mean, I guess I didn't go to town. I only picked out three, but I picked three that I really liked and um, was super excited to get. So it looks like we have here, first things first, this looks like a little um, business card um, of a different of a studio. It's called Mel Doodles. So I'm wondering if it's an artwork studio that she is um, helping to promote. It looks like you've got a little Princess Leia, a boba, and a couple of doggos there. Really cute. I'll have to check it out. On the back, it's got the website um, and where you can find Mel Doodles on social media. So I'm going to check that out for sure. Let's put that up here. We also have some little stickers thrown in. Um, we've got, let's see here. Oh my gosh, some of these are so tiny. Uh, we've got a little rain cloud. We have a, I think that's like a, a frog maybe, a little baby frog. I'm going to put these Hmm, I was wondering where I can start putting my stickers. Maybe on my organizational organizational drawer storage thingy. A little cat with like a moon and stars in it. Really cute. And we also have this larger sticker, which is kind of like a little fairy, a little, a little risque fairy or risque um, an animal or creature combo. I don't know, exactly know what's going on there, but I do like it. Oh my goodness. I didn't see the bottom half of it until I like put it in front of the camera and I'm like, well, it's too late. It's there now. So um, I'm definitely going to put that on my organizational cabinet. That is really, really unique. Cool. So there's that. I'll put that over here. Okay. And then... Um, there's a little card. Thank you for your purchase. So um, there's a little discount code for next time. 15% um, off your next order. So I will definitely use that because there's more cover minders that I wanted. And then there's another little free gift all wrapped up. So let's see what we have in here. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. This is such a nice little Friday treat. It's Friday um, evening, I just got home from work and this was a nice little treat to roll up into, or roll up onto. Um, so it looks like our free gift was another cover minder. This is just kind of, it looks like a round resin cover minder with some different glitter and sparkles in it. It's got the magnetic backing. 
So that'll be really cool. I actually don't use cover minders because I section off my canvases, as you can see here, with release paper, but I do use them in my office for hanging up notes or papers. Um, all of our little cubicle metal uh, walls are metal, so you can throw magnets up left and right, and I actually really need those. And I also use them to hang up diamond paintings. So. Okay, so let's get to the main event. These are three cover minders that I ordered um, that I thought would be really cute either for myself or for um, co-workers who also kind of collect magnets because of our metal cubicle walls. So this one was a little murder kitty that says what? I thought when I saw this, I was dying. So you have your um, magnet backing. These will all have that dual magnet and they're plastic cover minders. Um, so yeah. Little murder kitty. Oh my god, I cannot. I know exactly who I'm gonna give that to. Okay, next one, also kind of sinister, is the little scream, scream guy uh, with the hearts and the um, a phone that says, No, you hang up. I thought that was also really cute. Just like fun, kind of sassy um, cover minders are just gonna be awesome. So there's that one. Then this last one is a really interesting one, and it's kind of the whole reason why I placed an order, because I, um, I think Ruby was mentioning it on her live that she had this as a cover minder, and I was like, no way. So um, this is Sana Sana Colita de Rana, <laughs> and it, it's a little frog with a little alley on his butt. So um, for those Spanish speakers, essentially this kind of means like kiss kiss or like, not kiss kiss, but like hug hug or care care um little frog butt or like the butt of the frog so essentially my mom and my grandmother and my grandfather would say this to me like if I skinned my knee or if I tripped and fell and got an owie they'd like blow on it and like kiss it and be like sana sana colina rana and I don't know if it's just like a little saying that you say to like it's okay like you're gonna be fine like you'll live through this essentially and like you know, it's it's okay, you know, you're just, don't be delicate, essentially, I think is kind of what I took it as, and it's going to be okay. Um, my mom used to also, and my grandma would say this to me, when I was really little, if someone that they didn't like, or they thought that somebody had, like, given me kind of, like, they call it the eye, essentially, so it was almost like jealousy or envy, so, like, if I was like a little kid and like someone was like, oh my gosh, your son is so cute and like came up to me and started giving me all the loves and like attention and stuff and like, you know, touching me and getting all up in my face. They took that as like someone putting some bad vibes on you because they're like, uh, and like envious or they want something that somebody else has like they want your cute little kid or something like that so anytime that would happen they would or if I was like feeling ill or sick they'd want to get rid of that like bad stuff so they the bad oh so they'd give me an egg so they would do like this prayer over me with like a with like a raw egg and then you'd crack the egg into a bowl of a cup of water and like however many of like the little white kind of like sty looking things or little like white clumps that were in the yolk that was the energy the bad juju being like pulled out of you through that prayer and into the egg so the egg was almost kind of like the absorber of that to help you heal faster or not get sick or heal from an injury or, or get those bad vibes off of you essentially but sana sana colita de rana was something that my mom and grandmother aunts and uncles grandpa would say to me and in some different circumstances but mainly when you got a boo-boo so i can believe that this was now in a in a little magnet and oh my gosh in a cover minder so this is absolutely going in my office like this is my new favorite cover minder that I own um and it's just because there's a little bit of a story behind it I don't know I just really loved it so um I thought this I thought this video was only going to be a couple of you know like two or three minutes long but we got a good nine minutes in so maybe I'll do this as a little bonus unboxing just kind of a little snack size unboxing in between the normal kits and those types of things so let me know what you think if you have a favorite of these here thank you so much Ruby Q for um, sending these over and sending all these lovely free gifts and a bonus cover minder you can't go wrong with that um, she has just been such an awesome content creator to watch and listen to um, ever since I started diamond painting I discovered her I want to say like a a few months I'm like six months into diamond painting but a few months into diamond painting um Miss Coffee was wrapping up alive and she's like all right everyone headed over to Ruby Q's and I was like what is she talking about and so um I headed over there and immediately I was just like this is like 
this is someone that I could just like shoot the shit with and chat with. Sorry for, you know, language, but um, yeah, I could just hang out with and like, just, I'd love to just sit down and like craft and chat. And that's kind of what the lives are. So they've just been so engaging. And I know that she lost a pet recently, which was really hard on her. So I'm happy to see her kind of um, you know, grieving and coming to terms with that. And, and she's got a new kitty that's helping to, you know, um, speed up that healing process or help to make it a little less um, hard to take. So, and I have my own puppy that I got, I think right around the same time within a few days of um, her getting her kitty. So I definitely am feeling the love for my buddy. Um, and, and she seems to really love that little cat. I think it's Evie is the kitty's name. So Anyway, I'll leave a link down below if you haven't gotten a chance to check out Ruby Q's channel. I highly encourage it. Um, she does excellent uh, clay jewelry, um, different uh, different cover minders, and then some of these like kind of more, not, these aren't clay, these are just plastic ones, but you can get these as well with a bunch of different fun things on them. So go over there, check it out, give her some love. Thank you again, Ruby Q. I really appreciate it. And um, we'll see you all in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, leave a comment on what you think about these products here. And as always, happy placing.